Okay, so we're gonna tie a boat on today. Um, first things first, bring it round the back. Like this. Ensuring that the strap is flat at all times. It sits flush like that. So it should be like this on that side, on, on this side of the upright. Okay, and then we've got the buckle positioned about there and then still making sure it's flat, thread it through, still making sure it's flat and then bring it not quite tight and then just make sure it's all parallel at the top and in line and flat and then just pull down like that to make it tight, should be about like that. Never wait for the train. Okay, and now you need to do the locking, if you come around this side, I might be uh, Locking uh, knot. So just bring it round the back like that. So it ends up like that. And through. So you'll end up with that. Okay, and then pull that tight. And then pass the strap round the back of the one that isn't on the, isn't the buckle that and pull that down tight and then this is the point you need to keep the strap tight at all times now bring it round once twice and then holding it tight still bring it through like this like that and then if you just sort of rotate the whole thing with your hand like this while pulling down on this strap, like that. And then wrap it round again. And then do the same locking strap again. Okay. And you should have a bit of a tail, at least that much minimum. Um, and then the best way to test this tap strap is just give it the shriek test. And if it doesn't move at all, um, then, uh, then it's good. Things to watch out for are if the bolts are positioned here, anywhere in that region, uh, there's a high chance that the strap will rub on it and the strap will break and then the boat will come off. So that's not good. So when you're positioning a boat, uh, always make sure that the bolts aren't in that sort of zone. Um, right, another thing is if the boat is leave that on say if with some of the boats this edge will be about here so there's all this gap where it could this could slip off and that is where you can do you have to do a, uh, a cross tie so that's quite simple you just take it round the upright making sure the strap is flat again pass it through the buckle okay, come around this side right? And make sure this side is at the top here. Just loop that over there and then pull that reasonably tight. So that way, this strap, the original strap you did first, can't be pulled off here. Uh, and then just, you don't need to do anything special with this. Uh, just get rid of the loose end, just wrap it round like this. finish it off with the same lock that we did on the original strap. Okay, and that's tying.